Oh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we're going to get started. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on tonight. So without any further ado, guys, let's get started. I'm going to get the sage going here. cleanse and clear the energy guys this is going to be a divine feminine reading guys okay so we're going to look into the energies for divine feminine i just did a divine masculine reading so make sure you all um go and check that out as well okay so let's get started um and see what's going on Okay, so, um, when I pull the overall energy for this Divine Feminine, first of all, guys, this Divine Feminine, um, as we have here, this is someone who's very beautiful, they could be very radiant, they're free spirit, they're generous, um, they could like wine, um, this person is a good cook, they're glamorous, they're fun, they're open-minded, they're outgoing, they're, uh, strong-willed, smart, funny, uh, creative, caring, loving, outgoing, a good mother, if they have children, family-oriented, affectionate, classy type of individual, okay? The other overall energy that I got for this divine feminine we have here, God is within her, so she will not fall, okay? And that comes from Psalms 46 and 5, okay? Um... Also from Psalms 23, we have the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So this is the energy that this divine feminine is in, okay? Uh, we have my, um, she's also in this I believe I am affirmations here, okay? Um, this divine feminine is, a, is allowing her faith to be bigger than her fear here, okay? So um, this divine feminine is worthy, is beautiful, smart, strong, successful, talented, creative, um, healthy, happy, wealthy, abundant, loved, fulfilled, awakened, enlightened. Uh, this divine feminine is love, okay? Um, fulfilled, skilled, loving, caring, humble, faithful, knowledgeable, empowered, powerful individual, okay? So this is her overall energy here, okay? We also have here um, angel number 11111 or 1111, okay? Um, so if you're a divine feminine, you uh, could have been seeing this angel number of the wands. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that your prayer, your prayers are about to be answered. Okay. Trust your intuition, uh, your creativity and spiritual awakenings are happening. Okay. Um, there are goals that's being achieved. Um, you're connected to the universe and spirit. Your angels are telling you that you're on the right track or you are on the right path. Um, Spirit is also saying that you are ready for the next stage in your life. Also, Spirit wants you to know that confidence, um, you have confidence within yourself when you see these numbers, okay? And it motivates um, your own strength and opportunities and decision making as well, okay? So this is the, the energy of this Divine Feminine, guys bottom of the deck we have here i am enough my love okay so perhaps this divine feminine is relaying a message to her divine masculine that she is enough this is i am enough and we have my love here okay so this says together forever i'm um, all you need sweetheart this talks about passion romance uh whether this is soulmates twin flames uh together forever type of love type of energy here okay so that is what is going on with this uh divine feminine guys okay 
So, let's see what else, what other messages Spirit have for this Divine Feminine Spirit. messages do we need to relay for the divine feminine okay so we have here song of the siren here okay so this talks about the call summoning a voice um and it says to acknowledge here okay so um perhaps there's something very um special about this person's about this divine feminine's voice okay also um this speaks to this divine feminine's calling in life okay being in her life purpose fulfilling her destiny okay um something is significant to maybe her throat chakra or her voice or using her voice and something that she does but she has answered the call okay there has been a summoning of her from spirit she has answered the call. Um, like I said, there's something in reference to her voice, okay? And she has she is has made acknowledgement of that, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have wave of power here. So this divine feminine could be stepping into some type of power. Okay, this is a surge of power, upswing in energy, exhilarating movement as well here, okay. So let's see what other messages we have for this divine feminine spirit. Give us clear and accurate messages for this divine feminine, please. One more shuffle. So we have Wondrous Universe at the bottom of the deck. This says Walk in Beauty. This Divine Feminine could be very beautiful, very radiant, very pretty, as um, we have already stated here, okay? But with this Wondrous Universe, I definitely feel like the universe is working in the favor of this um, Divine Feminine, okay? So let's see. So we have rainbow blessings here, okay? Spirit is saying that blessings are showering your life here, okay? So there are going to be rainbow blessings showering the life of this divine feminine here, okay? I definitely feel like there's definitely some very miraculous things that could be happening in the, um, the life of this divine feminine. Okay, guys, hold on just a minute. We have a card to fill. So there could also be something that's very graceful about this divine feminine. We have here grace and gratitude, okay? So this divine feminine is uh, someone who's very graceful. She also has gratitude for all that she has, all that is yet to come into her life, okay? This has through gratitude, joy expands, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have follow the travelers, okay? This says support is all around you. So there's definitely support for this divine feminine that is all around her at this time, okay, guys? So before we move forward, we're going to get some more divine feminine messages, guys. And then we're going to get some further clarification for the divine feminine and her situation. One more shuffle, please, here. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have Khadija here, okay? This is the mother of believers. Spirit is saying that I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself here, okay? So, 
this divine feminine is in the spirit of uh, Khadijah here, okay? The mother of believers, okay? Um, which is interesting because remember her uh, overall energy that came out uh, talking about seeing that God is within her so she would not fall and with uh, her I believe I am affirmations here, okay? So she is the mother of believers here, okay? So we also have here at the bottom of the deck, this is uh, Sarada Devi, Devi, Devi. This is the Divine Mother here, okay? This talks about unconditional love exists within me. The presence of love is the um, absence of judgment here, okay? So this Divine Feminine is love. Just as God is love, God is within this Divine Feminine, thus she is love, okay? She has unconditional love that exists within her, okay? Okay, guys. So let's see what's going on um, in the love life of this divine feminine. What's going on in the love life of this divine feminine, please, spirit? I feel like this divine feminine desires passion, romance, um, and true unconditional love with a soulmate. Somebody could also have a crush on this Divine Feminine. This Divine Feminine is saving herself for the right one, okay? This says she's searching for a real love. So she's celibate right now, okay? She's abstaining from sex until she finds the right one, Spirit is saying. She's been healing her heart chakra, okay? It says, is it safe for you to love again? So she's been healing her heart chakra while she's been searching for her real love or saving herself for the right one. But she do desire passion. Spirit is saying. Spirit, what else is going on with the divine feminine love life, please? This divine feminine is a single parent here. It says all alone, but doing just fine, yet and still in search for my true love. So this divine feminine is a single mother or single parent. Yeah. Spirit, any other messages for this divine feminine? I see heaven sent here, okay? This divine feminine spirit is saying is heaven sent, okay? So this divine feminine is an earth angel. She's an angelic being here, uh, walking around here on earth. Um, she's probably had a lot of people who was not aware of this and took her kindness for weakness or used her and abused her in some type of way, which is why she has probably gone years healing her heart chakra. She's probably going several years with being single, with being by herself, with being uh, uh, abstaining from sex even, okay? This person could be a chosen one. Uh, this person is an earth angel, an angelic being. There's some, this is, uh, this divine feminine is someone who is one with the most high God, the creator. Okay. She's like literally only here on this earth for um, a divine mission. Okay. She has a specific divine mission. This divine feminine wants true love or nothing at all, okay? I literally have a card that says, I want true love or nothing at all. Um, and on the back it says, if I cannot have what I want and desire, then I am prepared um, to spend the rest of my life together alone. Or, or I'm, it says that she's prepared to spend the rest of her life 
by herself alone if she can't have um, true love. Because she wants true love or, or true love or nothing at all, okay? So that's what's going on with this Divine Feminine. Bottom of the deck, we have dress nice, smell good, feel good, and look good too, okay? Yeah, it says fine as wine and she know it, okay? So um, this Divine Feminine could dress very nice, could smell good, could look good, uh, it's, could feel good even. Spirit is saying this Divine Feminine could even have pussy power, <laughs> excuse the um term but it's actually a thing um this divine feminine could heal with a vagina or just our love in general okay so what else is going on with this divine feminine spirit what else is going on with this divine feminine they put a hit out on you to have you kill to cover their tracks so somebody has put a hit out on this divine feminine okay to uh, cover their track. Oh my gosh. They're doing death spells on her. On this divine feminine. Mm, 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 mm. The shadow government is in on this. Spirit is saying. A car, house, inheritance money was stolen from you by those closest to you. Something has something to do with some type of wills, inheritance, trusts, bonds, estates. Um businesses or property wow so what else is going on with this divine feminine this divine feminine has royal it's like royalty in some type of way comes from some type of royal bloodline you are royalty they stole your wealth and thought you'd never find out She's also, this person was, have rich, riches by birthright. She's someone who's supposed to be living a very privileged lifestyle, very wealthy lifestyle. But this was stolen for her and she's been hidden and kept in poverty and on purpose. She's also a high priestess. There's something significant to this divine feminine's mother side of the family. What else is going on with this divine feminine spirit? Your family's using you for money. This divine feminine is supposed to is supposed to be rich. Is rich. It's not no supposed to be. Is rich. That's why they've been trying to take this person out. The shadow government knows this. What else is going on? People are secretly spying on this divine feminine. They've they've wanted to keep her hidden. She's endured some type of systematic abuse due to the shadow government. Sorry, what else is going on with this divine feminine, please? Divine feminine. This divine feminine could be an artist of some kind. I also see fake love from thy father. And then I see your dad's side of the family. Sorry, what else is going on? This divine feminine needs to protect her energy. She has to protect her energy because she's heaven sent. Spirit is saying. There's a people turned their back on this divine feminine. They've used her for money. 
and abused her. There's so many cards in this deck. Spirit, what else is going on with this divine feminine, please? <clears throat> yeah, there's a satanic cult of, of satanic sellouts that's been working against this divine feminine. A table is going to be prepared before this divine feminine in the presence of her enemies. Ven vengeance is the Lord's. Yeah. The mother side, daddy side of the family has been using this person for money here. That's if this, this is even this person's real family. Okay. There's a whole lot of people who's all up in the business of this divine feminine. But everything about them is top secret and classified here. Okay. I also see luxurious vehicle. Some type of luxury vehicle um, this divine feminine is going to have here. I told you, this divine feminine is an earth angel. She has to protect her energy because she's an earth angel. And she's heaven sent. They could have tried to... They tried to human traffic this... <laughs> wow. Hold on, guys. They tried to human traffic this divine feminine, okay? To... to to harvest her organs. They wanted to kill her for her organs. This divine feminine is a high priestess. Spirit is saying you're very well protected by the most high. This divine feminine has a bright future ahead of her. Yeah. This divine feminine is an artist of some kind. Okay. There's there's a we have secret seven witches here. Competition all around you. Pay attention to the uh, to the signs and the symbolisms all around you. Okay. Bad vibes all around. They wanted to keep this divine feminine hidden out. Everybody, everybody that this divine feminine has been in contact with is aware of what's going on. They try to keep her brainwashed and dumbed down and blind to uh, what was going on as long as they could. But she could have gone through some type of awakening. She could have had some type of awakening. Yeah, there's been some very dangerous people working against this person. All these people, they've tried to cause nothing but confusions and illusions. They were even going to try to clone this divine feminine. She could even have a doppelganger. This divine feminine could have been adopted into another family. Other than her royal family, she grew up with, with a fake family. And they tried to hide her, hide, hide her out in poverty. Yeah, they want your gifts. She's been dealing with uh, government cruel and unusual punishments as a child. Mm -mm. That's what's going on here, y'all. This divine feminine is coming into some type of abundance, though. They can't keep her hidden anymore. She's known about. She's seen. Yeah, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on with this uh, Divine Feminine. There's a whole lot going on with this Divine Feminine. And it seems as if there's a lot of people who, who like have sought out to destroy this Divine Feminine. Okay, guys, so we're going to... Um, 
we're gonna move this over here this divine feminine is a um i guess i can leave those there i kind of did divine masculine it's different but we can leave those there there's a lot of messages that goes along with there's there's some significance to to this divine feminist mother side of the family daddy side of the family but i feel like the family that she grew up in is may not be her real family like something very sinister happened at childbirth with this um with this divine feminine here okay because she's been used being being used for money here your family's using you for money you are or you are being used for money here okay and this divine feminine has to have to endure government cold and unusual punishment competition being all around her so a lot of people have been like you know probably in her entire life the entirety of her life been working against her she could have been cursed from birth because of her lineage because of her bloodline because of her her status because of her wealth here okay these human organ harvester traffickers, they wanted to kill her for her for her organs here. These people are all up in her business, but everything about them is top secret and classified. These people are satanic sellouts. They belong to satanic cults as well here. There's been systematic abuse that has been done against this divine feminine here, and the shadow government is behind it. The satanic powers to be, the wickedness in high places, the shadow government, they're all behind this. Okay, guys? So let's get some divine feminine um cards here spirit um what does the divine feminine like to say this is what is leading you to feel fear here okay but i i feel like i don't feel like um this divine feminine is in fear. I feel like other people try to instill and plant fear in her, okay? She may even want to ask her. This may even be because a question mark is behind that. So this, these are like messages from uh, the divine feminine. These are divine feminine cards. These are messages straight from divine feminine. So this could be messages that she wants to ask her divine masculine. What is leading you to feel fear, okay? Because I feel like this divine feminine can feel that her divine masculine is being kept to her for some type of reason but there's some type of feeling of fear that's like keeping him away from her so she wants to ask him what's leading you to feel some type of fear okay this says release and let go um just a bit and go with the flow here okay so this divine feminine has re release any negative energy people places or things that does not serve her highest good okay and she's going with the flow okay yeah this divine feminine is giving herself some self-love at this time here okay this divine feminine could be like to herself by herself on her own okay because it seems to be a lot of people this divine feminine probably can't trust the people that she did trust, um, I believe she's seen these people's true colors and she believes she, she now knows that these people never loved her and out to hurt her or harm her. So she's just been self-loving herself here. This sits here with healing the heart chakra. Okay. This says, were you able to speak up and express your opinion today? Okay, with a question mark in behind, this is another question she wants to ask her divine masculine. There's somebody that's holding back her divine masculine. The reason why this divine feminine is not with her divine masculine. There's other people who has uh, tried to trick or persuade or have lied to her divine masculine to keep him from being in her life, okay? And maybe it has given him feelings of fear or doubt about her. Um, also... It's like other people around her divine masculine has like stripped away almost like his manhood, like his masculinity or like, you know, his voice to speak or his power to stand up and, and be a man when he is still a man. He is still divine masculine. That's why she's like, were you were you able to speak up for yourself today and express your opinions today? Or did you allow other people to just run all over you, talk all over you and, and tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing when you are the divine masculine, when you are a man, okay? When you have the power and the ability to stand up as a man should and a man, a real man knows what he wants. Go after what you want. Why are you feeling fear? Why are you allowing other people to stop you, block you, hinder you, halt you, control you in your life for you, okay? 
were you even able to speak up to these people as a man? You know what I'm saying? And, and let your voice be heard. Put your foot down as a man. So this is another question that she wants to ask her divine masculine, okay? We also have here, did you exhibit healthy boundaries today here? Okay, so again, with another question mark here, this is something else that she wants to ask her divine masculine. Because you have to understand that this woman is heaven sent. This is the reason why she has to protect her energy. She's an earth angel. This woman also embodies the energy of God. Not to say she is God, but God is in her. God is love, but she is love. This woman here is a healer. She has the power to heal. She can heal her divine masculine. So she is like speaking asking her to buy masculine these questions either telepathically or in spirit here okay because all of these are things that her divine masculine is dealing with okay being this person being um, um led to feel fear okay as well as this person not being able to speak up for themselves and express their own opinions as well as this person being able to exhibit healthy boundaries he's allowing other people to cross his boundaries and he's a man and this this uh divine feminine is trying to heal him in the spiritual realm so that he can get over these obstacles and they can be able to come together Okay, you don't even understand. A divine feminine don't go, don't go chasing after her divine masculine. Divine masculine has to come to divine feminine. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because a real man knows what he wants, and when a man is a man and knows what he wants, he go after what he wants. Okay? Ain't no woman got no business running up and behind no man. Period. Okay. Not in even not even in this modern day and time. You don't go chasing up and behind no but no no man. Why? Because a man knows what he wants. The, a man is going to go after what he wants. A man is a man. You have to allow a man to be a man. <laughs> you can't go chasing after who the hell you want just because you want to make him be what you want him. No, you have to allow a man to be a man. And that man, when, when, when he get in his masculine energy, he as a man is going to be a man and decide what it is that he wants and he's going to go after it. And no matter what aspect of life you are talking about, that is what a man is supposed to do. Okay. And if, if he is not, um, <clears throat> if he is no longer, uh, first of all, he's a man. Once he's full grown, he's called a man. Okay. So if that man, that man is no longer a child, there's the only time that, that, you know, that he is being, uh, he is being taught. And he has been, you know what I'm saying, by his mother or whomever the the, the adult women figures in is in his life when he is a child. But after that, once that man is a man, he stands on his own two feet. This man goes out into the world as a man. He has to stand up as a man. He go after what he wants. That is what a man is supposed to do. There is no, a woman has no business running up and behind a man. You can't raise no man. Why? Because that man has already been raised. By the, 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 the women in his life that birthed him, that taught him, and whatever else. You should not have to raise a man. You should not have to, uh, uh, you know, chase a man, run up in behind a man. No, none of that. Because a real man knows what a real man wants, and a real man is going to go after what he desires. Period. You can't force a man to love you. You will never be, if nobody will ever succeed with being able to trap a man with a baby or anything like that. That is all stupidity. Because none of that is going to keep that man from doing what he wants to do. Why? Because a man knows what a man wants. Period. Okay? Also, bottom of the deck we have here, have you been able to express your creative side today with a question mark at the bottom of the deck? So, this Divine Feminine knows that her Divine Masculine is creative just as she is in some type of way. And she is uh, wondering, has he been able to do something creative today? Um, or, you know, tap into his creative energy today or whatever. Okay? So, that is what is going on, honey, with the Divine Feminine. We are going to get some other messages and see um, what else is going on here, Spirit.
So I told you, this woman is love here, okay? That's the first card that came out about this Divine Feminine. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Love. This woman is love, okay? She has unconditional love. You forget with, um, she's in Kadisha energy, the mother of uh, believers. I am spiritually and financially abundant. I provide heaven and earth for myself, okay? This woman is love. Sarah, what other messages? This, this, um, sure. so we have health here, okay? This divine feminine is healthy. This says, I will honor the physical vessel that, um, enshrines my soul here okay so this divine feminine is in good health we also have happiness here okay if this divine feminine is not currently um in happiness and bliss she definitely desires this okay but this is happiness i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path here okay she also desires growth. We have growth here. So regardless, this divine feminine is moving forward here, okay? I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness here with growth, okay? So this is the energy of divine feminine, okay? As well, at the bottom of the deck, we have here service. I feel good when I can help others, okay? Um, as well as we have abundance here. I am a limitless being and I can manifest what I desire in the physical or desire in this physical reality. Excuse me. Okay. So there's something that this divine feminine do that helps, heals, or assist others in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay. Is there any other messages? I feel like there's a lot of people who have thrown a lot of adversities, okay, uh, challenges in the way of this Divine Feminine. People do not want this Divine Feminine to succeed here, okay? This Divine Feminine is going to have freedom, though, and is going to have some type of success. There is definitely change that's coming into the life of this Divine Feminine, okay? And it seems as if other people want to hinder that. Okay. I want you to somehow keep her from um, having that. Sarah, what other messages? This divine feminine is a, is a high priestess as well, though. She's, she's highly intuitive. She's very wise. Um, she could be empathic. She knows secret knowledge, secret information here, okay? We have discernment at the bottom of the deck. So this Divine Feminine is definitely using her discernment, okay, as it relates to situations here, okay? We have the future here. That's very interesting because the future came out on um, Divine Masculine as well, okay? Let's very clarify. Energy for the Divine Feminine, please. So we have patience here, okay? I feel like this Divine Feminine is very calm, cool, collect. She's been very patient, okay? I definitely feel like she has endured a lot, okay? This Divine Feminine has also been in solitude. She's to herself. She's by herself, okay? But she's been very patient, okay? She's um, also going to use her discernment as she strives towards the future as well. We have gratitude here, okay? So this Divine Feminine is very grateful, very thankful for all that she has, for all this is yet to come and to her life, okay? We have inner knowing and innocence at the bottom of the deck, okay? Relaxation as well as awareness as well as light. Yeah, this Divine Feminine is psychic, okay? You got inner knowing, awareness, light, truth. Okay, discernment, that, that, that's someone who is psychic, okay? There's some type of support, either this divine feminine is very supportive of others, or there's some type of support that may be coming in for her, but this is the energy of this divine feminine that is going on with her right now, okay? 
So let's see what else is happening here. Spirit, give us clear and accurate messages. So I definitely sense that there's some type of uh, major shift or change that is happening in the life of this Divine Feminine here with a change card coming out here, okay? Yeah, this Divine Feminine is coming into some type of sudden wealth of some kind. Oh, wow. Okay. Spirit say great fortune. <laughs> Sudden wealth came out first and then great fortune here, okay? So, yeah, definitely major shift, major change here. Um, I told you, whoever the divine feminine is, she's artistic, she's creative, okay? So, she could be obviously dabbling in some type of artistry. She could be creating something, inventing something or something. It's going to bring her some type of sudden wealth or great fortune or she's coming by this some other way. This could be the reason why people have put a hit out on her to have her killed people are doing death spells on her okay people have even uh stolen things that uh that was rightfully hers okay so we have the privileged lady here okay this divine feminine woman is stepping into a position of being a privileged lady okay somebody wants to be lovers with this um <laughs> Somebody wants to be lovers. There could also be some type of gift. I see gift here as well. Somebody wants to be lovers with this um, divine feminine. This lover could even be traveling to. This divine feminine. There's definitely some type of messages, news, information, or communication here. Um, it, either this 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 love that's coming into this divine feminist life, I see journey as well as pathway here, okay? So you want to cross each other's path like while you're out in traffic, while you're traveling, or somebody's traveling to see you or something like that or what have you. Um, you're definitely getting some type of messages, news, information, or communication is coming into you. Your occupation is very um, significant to, to what is happening, to what is going on. Um, Spirit, what other messages do we have for... Um, what other messages do we have... So this this divine feminine woman, you're you're coming, you're getting some type of messages about something. There's some type of messages, news, information, or communication that's coming into you about something. This this divine feminine is coming into some type of high honor for something as well. There could also be some type of unexpected income coming in to you as well. Something has something to do with um, a gift. I think this is some type, this is a side note. Um, like this is something else that is coming into this divine feminine that's separate from what is going on with her occupation. I feel like this could be, there's a masculine here that wants to date you. This could be the person that you're meeting. This could be this new lover that's coming into your life. This main male or a mature male. He, whoever he is, he could be an official person himself. Okay. You're coming into some type of messages, news, information, and communication, some type of unexpected income that has something to do with some type of gift here, okay? But there's some type of sudden wealth and great fortune that is coming in. It changes that is coming in pertaining to your occupation. It's going to put you in a position of a privileged lady and some type of high honor as well here, okay? There are persons in concern. There could be a main male. Who may be worried about you, thinking about you, is going to contact you, okay? I also see here, I see main male family room and wealthy man here, okay? This is Horizon community here. 
Somebody can't stop thinking about you. Somebody can't get you off of their mind, okay? Divine Feminine. Okay, so let's clarify. Spirit, clarify change in occupation. Clarify change in occupation, please. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're you're very faithful and loyal, uh, very faithful and dedicated and loyal to um, whatever work you do. Okay, spirit, clarify sudden wealth, great fortune, sudden wealth, great fortune. So this talks about money, just straight up. Okay, there's some type of money that is coming to you okay i feel like this has to do with your occupation of some kind you could be stepping into a position of being someone um you could be an influencer perhaps maybe you're gonna have some type of a, step into a position of authority or power or privilege in some type of way spirit who's this lover This person, this lover that's coming into your life is going to send you some type of messages, news, information, or communication with the letter here. Okay, this person could desire to see you. This person also wants to gift you some. That's where that gift is coming from. This person is going to send you some type of communication. They want to gift you something. I see soldier here. This person may, may be... I also see an official person. So this person could be... Um, Either a veteran, or they may be active duty military. What are the messages here, Spirit? Yeah, it came out again, okay? So this person definitely have a gift for you, okay? You're coming into some type of fortunes. Um, I feel like this person that wants to date you, that's coming into your life, he wants to gift you something or give you something, but I also see something here... Um, that may have something to do with something legally that was like gifted to you that maybe someone who passed away left behind something has to do with fortunes in a house here there's a lot of lot going on because things are blossoming and booming in your career um which is bringing about changes in your life then things is happening in your love life okay and then things are also happening whatever this is that has to do with um family inheritances and different things like that this is the reason why these people are so vigorously working against you we have surprise at the bottom of the deck so you could be very shocked and surprised by all of this okay but this is definitely what is happening what's coming in for you uh divine feminine okay so um let's get some further clarification here guys Spirit, clarify um, Divine Feminine's love life. So we have romantic feelings here. This says your, your feelings are real and worth exploring here, okay? I feel like somebody may want to to um, express their romantic feelings for you. This is here with passion as well as searching for a real love and saving myself for the right person here. Okay, Spirit, what else is going on with the Divine Feminine's love life? Somebody wants to retreat and honeymoon with you. It's like somebody wants to... I see passion here, okay? It says, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So somebody wants to express their romantic feelings for you. Somebody definitely has a lot of passion for you as well here okay spirit is saying keep an open mind okay your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations here okay so that's what's going on yeah bottom of the deck we have retreat okay um it's time to disconnect from the world here okay calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmation and visualizations help bring you closer together heart to heart conversations here okay honestly discuss your feelings with each other express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture chemistry there's a, a strong magnetic attraction here worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, okay? Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, okay? So, yeah. It seems as if somebody new is coming into your life here, okay? Um, this person wants to express their 
uh, romantic feelings, <laughs> if you will, for you, okay? Somebody definitely... Mm -hmm. Somebody definitely has a lot of feelings and emotions for you. Like somebody really, really loves you and they want to express their feelings and their emotions for you, okay? They want this will of fortune to turn in y'all's favor here. This person wants to be your lover. This person wants to be more than your lover, okay? Because on the surface, lovers just talks about somebody who wants to be intimately involved with you. But lovers is sitting next to the Ten of Cups here, okay? This person desires to have like a family with you. Okay, that's what's going on here. Yeah, this person wants happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fulfillment, a fresh start with you, okay? Um, this person feels like you are their happiness, okay? You're someone who expresses your feelings and emotions as well here, okay? I see the Hierophant as well as the Star, as well as your energy, as well as the Six of Coins here. So somebody is very giving, very generous, very loving, very caring, affectionate, okay? This person definitely wants to make you some type of an offer, okay? Hmm. So that's what's going on in your love life. You might be a single parent right now, okay? But you might not be for long, okay? Because something or someone new is coming into your life, okay? That's what's happening here, okay? So let's um let's see how this person is really feeling, how this love situation is really going, okay? I see abundance here, okay? Um, I feel like th this may be your energy. You come into, obviously, you're coming into a whole lot of abundance here. So this has positive mindset, manifest, gratitude, and bliss, blessings here, okay? So very grounded, stable, and secure energy here. What else is going on? Something is happening in divine timing. Somebody may want to give you an... Uh, uh, <laughs> somebody may want to give you an engagement ring. Y'all don't even know each other yet? Okay, so we have Teddy Bear here, okay? Interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, want to date, okay? I also see the coffee cup here. So this says meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, and building relationship or friendship. This could be, I mean, I keep seeing shock. There's something could be shocking about who this person is. Or the fact that they desire you or like you or something like that or whatever. I see grounding here. So this talks about stability and security, performance, growth, and endurance as well, okay? So I definitely feel like it's a situation that will be very grounded, stable, and secure, okay? We've got talking at the bottom of the deck. So you're definitely going to be talking, Um to someone new. This is interested, awaiting messages, texts, calls, emails, talking more, okay? So there's somebody is coming into your life that you're definitely going to be speaking to a lot more. You're going to be, you know, going through the phases of getting to know each other better or something. This could be your divine masculine um, finally making their way into your life here, okay? So let's see what's going on. Let's clarify... Um, this other stuff that's going on. Spirit clarified they put a hit out on you to have you killed to cover their tracks. Yeah. There's a group of individuals who've been teamed up and schemed up, working together in secret, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, behind your back. Okay. Um, a lot of criminal activity. Shady people, dirty dealing, sneaky, freaky, creepy shit, low down and dirty shit. The moon talks about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark. It talks about dilemmas, witchery, secrets. Okay, rituals, all kinds of things is going on in secret. But these people, a group of individuals, three or more people came together and is working behind your back. They put some type of hit on you, add on you to have you killed to cover their tracks here. Yeah, they've been doing death spells on you. Spirit say that's the truth. Okay, why? Because you're a star. You shine brightly like the star that you are. You're in your star energy here. Okay, spirit is saying that's the truth. They put some type of death spells on you. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
We got the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups with the Five of Wands sitting here with a soul, uh, um, with a car, a house, and inheritance money was stolen from you by those closest to you. So this Ten of Cups is a large group of individuals. You could have even considered these people to be family. These people were jealous of you, envious of you, hating on you, spiteful towards you, revengeful towards you, and they stole something from you, okay? You are royalty. Spirit, clarify royalty. Clarify royalty. So we have the Nine of Cups here. This talks about hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. Okay? You are royalty. You come from some type of royal bloodline or, or, or something. Okay? If you did know this, you could be getting some type of communication about this. Messages, news, information, or communication uh, could be coming to you about this. But you are royalty. Spirit, clarify Earth Angel. Clarify, um, Earth Angel, please. Protect your energy. Heaven sent. Earth Angel. There's a significant partnership, relationship that is coming into your life as well. Okay? Whatever challenges that you've been dealing with is going to be in a birth. I keep seeing this, okay? Whoever this person is that want this partnership with you, okay? Something is very significant to some type of partnership or relationship. Is keep coming out. You and your partner both could be earth angels. Because I'm trying to clarify the earth energy. Earth angel energy here. And it just keeps coming out. Okay. You could be a higher fan. I see the higher fit here. Okay. So you could you're you could be a healer, a helper. Uh, you're someone who is a divine leader, okay. You're meant to be in power or authority to lead to God, to teach, to help, to heal others in some way, shape, form, or fashion. You're definitely going to be moving on, moving forward to calmer waters here. It's the sun here, happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fresh starts, okay? The fool taking leaps of faith. Yeah, these people that's working against you is a chain to the devil. They're of the devil, period. Point blank here. Okay? Yeah. Temperance here. Okay, so you're someone who's very temperance. The temperance card speaks to balance, speaks to patience, speaks to you being an earth angel, you're an angelic being. Okay? There's something pertaining to your work here. Your Whatever work that you do is definitely going to put you in a position of power or authority or leadership there's a lot of abundance that's coming from the work that you do here for this divine feminine okay there is definitely a love that is coming into your life okay some type of messenger is coming in is sending you some type of messages here we got the messenger card here with the lover's card here so there's definitely some type of messages that's coming in these people they have tried to betray you here all these people from your past here, they have done nothing but try to betray you, but try to hurt you, to try to bring an ending to your life, to cause towers in your life here, okay? To cause you burdens and hardships and problematic situations, to cause conflicts and stress and depressions and strife, okay? To cause you heartache, heartbreak, pain, sorrow, misery, okay? These people abandoned you, they left you out in the cold, they neglected you, they left you hanging, they left you in lack and worry and negativity here, okay? Yeah, because they chained to the devil here. They're liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, con artists, sneaking and creeping around, trying to get away with something here, okay? They wanted to, uh, to, to, they tried to sacrifice you, okay? They were defensive towards you. They were hostile towards you, okay? But spirits say that's okay because a change is going to come. They left you juggling and struggling, okay? But there's a change going to come and you got a whole lot of options, okay? Because even though they left you in the Two of Pentacles, they left you juggling and struggling with nothing, okay? You're about to be in the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles energy here, okay? So what they stole from you, it don't even matter, okay? It don't even matter. Some type of judgment or decision <clears throat> was made, okay? 
uh, possibly in a court of law about something, whatever they stole from you all. There's a fire sign who's very significant to this, such as Aries or Leo individual here. This person could have been somebody who was supposed to be your family or something like that, okay? This person left you juggling and struggling on purpose here, okay? But there's a major change that's about to happen in your life that's going to provide you fulfillment and empowerment. And you're going to have several different choices or options of what have you to choose from as to how you want to move forward as to what else, you know, what you want to do in life here okay you're going to be very abundant you have the eight nine and the ten of uh, coins here okay yeah these people wanted to see you hurt they wanted to see you hurt and they wanted to see you dead and they went to the crossroads and they made the decisions to hurt you like this and to cause your death like this so they can get away with lying cheating stealing and, and and taking from you what they didn't want you to have here okay you got the seven the eight the nine and the ten of coins here your hard work is paying off okay your hard work is paying off as well as the eight of pentacles this is a gift from god the almighty most high god is reaching his hand down and blessing you what is what is rightfully yours okay divine feminine so that is what's going on here guys i do thank you all for listening and for watching if you would be so kind to please like share and subscribe it would be greatly greatly appreciated for those of you who would like to contact me you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com you can also follow me on instagram which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word for any persons interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby sunny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings, watch the company you keep, watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready with me. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.